Hello everyone. Now I would like to introduce you to one of our new technologies, which is an automated dosing irrigation system. This is one of our automated control cabinets. This is our irrigation tank. Here is our liquid return system, and this is our water intake system. Let me introduce the basic functions of these systems to you. The first thing to talk about is the irrigation system. This is the water pump, which can be automatically set a time through the control system. That is to say, it can be switched on and off automatically within a specified time range. After the irrigation is completed, the water goes down the stream pipe directly to the return tank. In the liquid return tank, there is a liquid level detector. When it is at a low liquid level, it can protect our water pump from burning dry. When the water level is higher than the low liquid level we set, the water pump will work automatically and then enter our irrigation tank through the water pipeline. It's worth mentioning that this is our ECH sensing probe. And over here is the ECH testing device. This side is our ECH sensor. By the ECH while we set on the control cabinet, these two buttons will automatically turn on. For example, the EC value we set is 800. If the value is lower than 800, the solenoid valve will automatically open when the water comes up. And then after the doser, it will replenish the nutrient solution for it. And then it will go back to the irrigation tank. If the ECH is equal to or higher than our set EC value, it will go through this pipe below and into our irrigation tank. After this are completed, the system will automatically check the water level in the irrigation tank. If the water level is below our single irrigation level line, our control cabinet will give a signal to municipal water inlet valve. The valve will open at this time. The municipal water will be returned through the doser, and the returned liquid will enter our irrigation tank. The two dosers on both sides will maintain the EC in the tank through automatic fertilizer dosing. Next to be introduced is our control cabinet, which contains our PLC control system. Here is our operation display in Chinese and English. And now I'm going to click on the screen for simple irrigation. This is an irrigation setup. And all the knobs below are manual and automatic devices which means we can detect manually and then irrigate automatically. Now let's do a simple setup. As you can see, we've got an irrigation time set now. And then over here we've got a one-day irrigation cycle. For example, we set it to 8 o'clock to 11 p.m. on that day, which means that from 8 o'clock to 11 p.m. is working for this time period. Let's take a look at the water return solenoid valve here. We'll first set a water return level. That's what we just said. And when it's higher than the water level, it'll return water to the return pool. Now let's put the control cabinet into automatic mode so we can do a simple test. The first step is to turn the irrigation solenoid valve on. And then the pump will begin to irrigate. 